Welcome to this Fair of Graces, Pastor Shogun Badger. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. It's a beautiful day. And this week we've been looking at the word of faith, the power back of the word of faith. Glory to God. And today we're focusing on the hearing of faith, the hearing of faith. Now the hearing of faith here is the, a special kind of hearing that comes as a result of the preaching of the word of faith. In Galatians chapter 3 and verse 1, Paul was rebuking the church at Galatia and he told them, he said, hey, I want to learn something from you. If you permit me, you know, to learn it from you. He was actually teasing them. Praise God. He says, look, the one who ministered the spirit to you and worked miracles among you, all right, does it do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Of course, by the hearing of faith. The Bible tells us in Acts of, of the Apostles, chapter 10, and verse 44, it says, Peter preaching at the house of Cornelius, it says, While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word, the hearing of faith. So Peter was saying some things by the Holy Ghost, and the people heard the word. And those who heard the word, the Bible tells us that the Holy Ghost fell on them. Praise God. That was the ministry of the Spirit through the preaching of the word of faith brought about by the hearing of faith. So you see, the hearing of faith here is actually the effect of the word of faith preached. When the word of faith is preached, there's the hearing of faith. And the hearing of faith is always, you know, at the other end. The recipient of the word hears the word of God in faith and that hearing causes the performance or the manifestation of what God has said. Peter was saying things about Jesus the Christ and how God anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power. We went about doing good, healing all those that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him and he preached that remission of sins and sanctification and justification all right, was by his name. And while they were listening to that and hearing that, the Bible tells us that while Peter yet speak, the Holy Ghost fell. Now, the conviction to receive that which God had given them came to them through the speaking of faith, which is the preaching of faith. And then the hearing of faith was the result of it. And that secured the release of the ministry of the Spirit and the working of miracles amongst them. They got born again, they filled the Spirit of God, they spoke with tongues and prophesied. Glory to God. So, the hearing of faith is very, very important. Sometimes you are listening to a message and you've not heard it deep within you yet. Go ahead and listen to it again and again and again. You can do replay over and over and over and over again until you come to the place where you can actually say, I've heard this in me. Until conviction is the result of your hearing, you've not heard it in faith and of faith yet. Praise God. So the hearing of faith is deliberate. Sometimes you're praying in tongues. You're praying. Your heart is open to God. Holy Spirit, I want to hear this deep within me. And as the word of faith is preached, your heart is opened and you hear it deep within you. And that causes the change in you. And the very moment there's a shift on the inside, evidently the world around you must adjust to it. Praise God. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in this fear of grace. I love you and God bless you. Mm-hmm.